So if you saw the title of the last episode, you will know that we've turned it slightly around. But the main factor is, we have to keep it that way. We're into episode number 5 here, and things get more difficult. I mean, the games yesterday, we still had to fight for them, of course. Every game's difficult in the Premier League, League Cup, the, Ch the Champions League, of course. How did I forget that one? But today, we've got to get on it. As welcome back, people, to episode number 5, as I just said, of season number 1. Of probably two of this Chelsea career mode here on FIFA 22. The final save, of course, we'll be having with the Blues, of course, as well. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, it goes without saying, because I've spoiled it a little bit. Make sure you have watched those ones. And if you have watched those ones, you're enjoying the channel, and you haven't done already, hit a big thumbs up on each and every single one of them, and subscribe to the channel. We're on 7,000. 300 subscribers. The aim for FIFA 23 there was 7,000. We are literally 300 past target with time to go, which is amazing. As the form last episode was amazing. We got them two draws, but in a busy month, very good showing from us. As today we have one month, November, five games, two competitions, and I'm very much looking forward to it. As we've got Salzburg, simulate them this time round. Nottingham Forest who I think at the bridge I'll actually simulate the first time as well, as we'll play definitely AC Milan away at the San Siro, Leicester away at the King Power, and you can see the final game, Manchester United. A very interesting finale clash, that one, which I cannot wait for, but every game is as important as the last one, of course. We've got draws against Southampton, lost against Villa, and a draw against Brentford, so we've got to be careful as Midland won't have Vail on a two-year loan. I will go ahead and accept, uh, accept that one. If we do need to recall him, which I don't see us doing, we always can. Tavi Vale has rejected his loan anyway, so that was a kind of pointless move. As Salzburg up first in the Champions League, and I do think that team is made already. I have been altering with it a little bit, as we're going to switch them around, I think, and we'll go with this. So it's Edouard Mendy in between the sticks. Cesar Aspilicueta gets the nod at right wing back with Zakaria, Silva, Fafana and Kukurea at the back. We've got Jorginho, Mateo Kovacic and James Madison fighting with Mount Fiercely now. Both playing very, very well with Anyaki Williams and Kai Havertz as the strikers. Aubameyang gets a rest. Charles Giles is selected on the bench. If he gets an appearance, who knows? As at the bridge against Salzburg. We got a 3-1 win last time out. This time out, a 4-1 win. We go above and beyond. As Nyaki Williams, they went 1-0 up with Seawald, but Nyaki Williams levelled it, and then after the half-time whistle, in every single ninth ending minute, 59th, 69th, 79th, apart from the 89th, of course, Kai Havertz with a hat-trick. Not what I expected as we're sixth in the league, and to be fair, look at Nottingham Forest. They're in eighth. Are they above the team that, of course, we play as well? Who else do we play? Who's the other team we play? We play... Leicester, who are 11th. Nottingham Forest are above them by a point, yes, but I think playing Nottingham Forest might be the better option. I think it might be, you know. They're on a good bit of form. As Aubameyang grabs Player of the Month for October, that's a good achievement. As a slight switch up for the league, I am going to go with Mount back in that position. Kante, Chilwell and Loftus-Cheek coming in as the uh, full, or wing back, should I say. Koulibaly's in. Uh, Aubameyang and Kai Havertz can't drop out after the hat-trick. Very good going from him in the Champions League. Now we've got two hat-trick heroes in the team already. Both are starting this game. It's a game in hand which can take us higher than fifth. So it's an important one. We're going to play it. Nottingham Forest at the bridge. There's one point in between us just now. And let's have a look at this Nottingham Forest lineup. They've got Bryce Samba still in goal. Shed Spence, Panzo, Cook, McKenna and Max Lowe at the back with Brian Ajeda and Lucas Hilaire. Philippe Zinkenagel, now Olympiacos player. Brendan Johnson and Kareen on Siwo up front, I guess. Sam Surridge, the man who run ragged, to be fair, against Grimsby in real life, is, of course, on the bench, which is a good thing, I guess. And Ryan Yates, not in that lineup as Mason Mount with the header. Or, should I say, Kai Havertz with the header into Mason Mount. It's Mateo Kovacic on the charge forward. He's got Max Lowe to try and beat. Comes inside, it's an important game this one. Just one point in between us, which I wouldn't expect as Aubameyang around the corner. Mateo Kovacic on the angle and forces the save out of Bryce Samba. Good early start right there. A good bit of pressure as that's towards Kai Havertz with the header off the line from Jed Spence. Lucas Hurler intercepted by N'Golo Kante. 
Mason Mount into Chilwell for Farner. Thiago Silva across into Kali Koulibaly. Here's Kovacic. He's going to put one out wide as well. Straight into Ben Chilwell. Kai Havertz. Look at the run through the middle of Mason Mount. That's a good little one from him. And he's still amongst the goals. Mason Mount. Money Mace with a deadly finish into that bottom corner. And that should take us back towards the top four. A brilliant run in the middle. Defenders wasn't across. And he slots it in the bottom corner of Bryce Samba's goal. Brilliant start. We're good with us composed finishers. It's Nottingham Forest have won a free kick. Okay. Got to try and defend this one, I guess. As it might get whipped in. Zink and Eagle over the top. Everyone's avoided it. And Brennan Johnson has them level immediately. Where was the pressure in that move? Celebrating with the Chelsea fans, which is pretty weird. As it's 1-1. I mean, they are a good team. The league position reflects it. We got the wall right as well. Didn't jump. Wesley Fafana lets it go straight in front of him. And straight in the bottom corner. And done it a set piece as Hilaire on the ball. Forced them backwards a little bit. It's Koulibaly charging forward as well. As Brewery and Ieda with the ball onto Philip Zinkenagel. He's got it out wide to Max Lowe. Nottingham Forest switching the momentum. But Loftus-Cheek was in the way to get that one away. And now Mateo Kovacic has Aubameyang in front of him. This is where we break. We're good on counter-attacks. Money Mace with that chip over the top. Or it's Havertz, actually, into the path of Aubameyang. It's good charging forward. He's going to look for Mason Mount. Brilliant block. And half an hour in now. The game's dying down a little bit as Fafana. That's a sloppy pass. N'Golo Kante into Aubameyang. He's going to physic forward down this wing. Why is Fafana this far forward? Trying to redeem himself going forward as he's given a pass into Mason Mount. Deflection! And Mason Mount claims his second. And we regain that lead. Mason Mount is on fire today. Only question is, will it count as his? A big deflection off, I think, Steve Cook it was. Took it past Bryce Samba and it was on target. It should count as his. Or it might be the number 27s. No, it's Money Mesa's. Tell you what, we know how to get the best out of him. It's just took a while as N'Golo Kante... He's going to get that pass straight off into Kai Havertz. As Kai Havertz looks wide into Ben Chilwell. Another one before halftime would really do as well going into the second period. And Aubameyang's managed to get it. Bryce Samba, what are you playing at, my friend? It's the team, of course, we did a, a career mode with. as our first save in FIFA 22. And it's not going well for them here at the end of it. A brilliant goal, but what a ball in from Ben Chilwell. Had pressure from Jed Spence. Still calm underneath it. Brilliant header. It's like at the break we might hold this lead as can we even go for more? Mateo Kovacic coming forward. If we can break through again, that really, really would upset them, I think, as Loftus Cheek goes for a bit of a ball, makes them out to keep it alive into Chilwell. Obamiang's waiting. Went for the spectacular and Kovacic actually keeps that alive slightly. Makes them out into Kai Havertz. And he's clattered by the defender and he's actually injured his Kai. That's not great. He's hit a bit of form, but he's staying down. So we're going to get this move off. No, please stop for Kai Havertz. That takes a shine off the game a little bit. And Yaki to come on. As I think we'll only see him in the second half a little bit. Ball around the corner. Ben Chilwell into Aubameyang, who's trying to spectacular. Goes out of play. And there's the whistle. Injury at the end really upset things, but still very good. I complain about performance levels at all. Apart from, of course, the set piece that undid us. Apart from that, we've been absolutely perfect as Olaire. Into Philippe Zinkenagel. I thought they were going to go for the pass back to him then, but no. Hilaire on the edge of the box a little bit. Zinkenagel, that slotted through. And Brennan Johnson has a brace now. Okay, 3-2. Nottingham Forest are putting up a fight. Now that's the sloppiest we've been. It's just an easy move for them really, wasn't it? Straight through the middle. Thiago Silva at fault. As Max Lowe on a run down this wing as well here. Koulibaly coming across. It's cut away from us a couple of times right there as he eventually does get that tackle in. Loftus Cheek splits it through the middle. Now on Yaki Williams. He's going to turn out and go down this wing a little bit as Aubameyang. Flick that behind you. Yes, straight into a Yaki Williams. Not really got a pass to anyone anywhere right there as Angolo Kante lining one up. Angolo Kante has lit up Stamford Bridge with an absolute screamer. I can't even scream myself after seeing that. I am in. Shock. Ungolo. Take a bow. That should be game wrapped up now. And Conor Gallagher now on the field. That's a dodgy tackle on him. But Ungolo Kante spreads it out wide into Ben Chilwell. Can we get anything after that Kante screamer? Would be nice. Madison's on the field as well. And Madison's joining in. 
The attacking midfielders in this formation are just unreal. And James Madison comes on for Mount and scores immediately. Seven goal thriller at the bridge, definitely not short of goals. Just beats that Palace game on excitement. And that's number five for us. Not long to go in this one still as Madison on the ball again. Looking over the top to Anyaki, who's played all this second half and not really done anything. As he cuts inside, looking for six. And Bryce Samba with the save. Corner ball here. Be a long list of highlights for this game, which could even be longer. As Aubameyang strikes the outside of the post as well. That could have been six. And of course, his brace for this game has put the pressure on. As we definitely did right there. And there's the game over. Another Premier League victory. 5-2 at the bridge. As Nottingham Forest came close for a second, but were utterly demolished. Kai Havertz concussion injury. Four weeks without the German up front. I guess we can deal with that, of course. We've got players to change and chop it up with as Manchester United are actually in sixth position. The big game, of course, we play today are United, so that makes me feel all right. But Milan midweek before it doesn't. There's a bit of good news before this Leicester game, which will be simulated. Raheem Sterling is apparently back in training, so I'd say two months, uh, two months, two weeks uh, before we can have him back, maybe back for Manchester United, as I definitely don't think he'll stretch Leicester or Milan, as Jorginho wants to be in this team, come to the right decision, Kukureya as well, I'll think about it, you are Champions League players however, as Kai Havertz for an Inyaki, that's the of course obvious change, don't really have another striker on the bench, don't really have another one at all. Can any of these players play up front? Not really. As I am going to go with the same Premier League team that played, I'll change it up for the Champions League, although that's important. Actually, I might make one change. I might touch Kovacic out for Jorginho and Zakaria for Fafana. We'll do that. Just the two. Freshen it up. Higher rated, of course, for the simulations, as we haven't got a striker on the bench. Actually, I'll put Sterling on the bench, I think. Just to risk it. Why not? I don't think he'll come on as a 3-2 win against Leicester. Away from home. Mount with a goal and Mount with an injury. That is not good at all. Ariola Luckman, Kovacic and Williams in the 89th. Floral Brighton got one straight after that. But we get the win. Was QQA not too impressed with uh, not playing that one as Reese James cleared from injury. But Mason Mount sprained his knee four weeks without the player on best form which is not the greatest thing going into the Champions League as well. Apparently the battle for top spot this one you can tell because I think we are through to the the knockout rounds which is good. Very very nice actually as Kovacic asking to play. I do think he'll play as we've got we've got a decent rest before this next game. 5 days. So I am going to go very strong for this one. As it's a huge struggle without a striker, I tell you that. Raheem still in is going to have to come onto this bench. Aspilicueta's in. Um Kukureya's in for Farnas back in. And James Madison is the easy step up right there. It's actually quite a thin squad now. Still on the bench, but I don't think he'll play unless very, very needed. Of course, I'm playing this game, so I have control over the substitutes as it's Milan at the San Siro. And a big roar from the Champions League theme that actually doesn't play for copyright reasons. Mike Miagin in goal. Nusan Mazarawi. Ishmael Benteke. I'll wait for it to swap, but Ibrahimovic on the bench. As it's Mazarawi, Romanoli, Kaye, Balotore, Liao, Kessier, Venasias in midfield with Salamakers, Brahim Diaz, and Richarlison. If you missed the last game at the um at the what do you call it? A very eventful game at the bridge against Milan. Highly recommend you see that one in episode number two, as that's not a good tackle from Liao. Spoiler alert, one of the goal scorers in that game, as that's a good tackle from Balotore. They're coming out with a bit of uh, ferocity in them, if that's the right word, as Aubameyang just to not put enough power on that one. As Kessier into Salamakers, ball down the side. This is definitely for top of the group this game, there's no doubt about it. Both on 10 points. We do both have one game left after this one, I think, us having Zagreb. As Aubameyang gets that chip over the top two in Mazarawi. Good challenge. As Mason Mount has been really our Champions League man, so... Bit difficult we out him, but Madison's in his position, and Madison's in behind. A good first touch from Mike Miagen. Made it too easy for him. Brilliant save as the corner ball has whipped in. Aubameyang off the line from Benassia. Very, very good block as well. Another corner will go far post with. Miagen's running out to that one, and he does catch it. Very unlucky as Richarlison. He gives the ball back into Benassia. Benassia goes to the side as well. Into Rafael Liao right now. He steps away from us and gets his pass missed up. 
with Rick Charlison. It's almost half an hour on the clock. And it's Mateo Kovacic charging forward. He dummies away into Madison. That's around the corner. And Yaki now onto Kante. Didn't get his pass off. All over Milan in this game as Salamakers out wide. Mazarawi. Salamakers again. Brahim Diaz. And he's got the ball. Rich Allison. Dummies one way, but we catch him the next as Kante with a slide. And he's actually injured, Kessier. Not great. Hope he gets better soon. But we've still got the ball ourselves. Madison. Looking for the switch, unlucky with it. It's back on his feet, is Frank Kessier, though, as Aspilicueta. Aubameyang, just before half time, and look at Nyaki's run right here with Madison, and it's a brilliant finish into the top corner. And Nyaki Williams before the half time whistle goes at the San Siro, and that is a big, big goal. Can that make us top the group? Brilliant stuff, look at that, just timed it to perfection. Touch away. Bang. Loved it as a half-time whistle goes straight after it. That'll cause problems in the Milan camp, I hope. 1-0 Blues. Doing extremely well at the moment. As look at this gap for Nyaki. He could have a second. Nyaki Williams. Right, okay. Okay, back down to earth with him. That's a horrendous miss. Matt Kukurea with a pass backwards into Wesley Fofana. Khalid Koulibaly through that middle. Kovacic. Tackle looked rather fiery going in on him right there. They are being quite aggressive. Luckily, we've avoided every injury so far. As Fafana will drop that in the middle to Anyaki. Spaniard to Spaniard. Finds Kukurea. Brilliant pass around the corner. Aubameyang needs to head that on. And Simon Kayer got in the way. Is that's not the best header down? Very unlucky as Rafael Liao. He's out in this corner right here. He goes backwards into Balotore. Edge of the box to Charleston. Sellermakers. What a position he was in. Edward Mendy reading that very, very well as we've lost the ball immediately after. Richarlison. Okay, it looks like Milan's little flurry that they're going to get as Brahim Diaz. Gap for Sellermakers again. Mendy again. Rather close as Jorginho. Whoa. Rafael Liao. Is that a yellow or a red? I want to see at the top corner. It's a yellow card, and I think he's quite lucky, to be fair. I didn't think that was a good tackle. That's a brilliant ball from Koulibaly, though, and Aspilicueta across the goal. And Yaki Williams throwing himself at it as we've won the header. Cucurella beaten to it. Azarawi now into Rafael Liao. Not long to go. That's a good ball through to Richarlison, however. Back to Rafael Liao. Curling one and Mendy again. Benjamin Mendy again. We're going to get Cucurella off for Chilwell. I don't mind changing a wing back. Definitely not a centre. As Giroud, our ex-player, is in the box now. Off the bench for Brahim Diaz. As Anyaki away at the near post into Frank Kessier. Drags it back into Liao. Liao had space right there. Aubameyang trying to shepherd him into Ante Rebic as well. Through the middle, Richarlison. Late on at the San Siro. The Tottenham in real life, man, has levelled it up. Big gut punch. And at the moment, I think they go top of the group on goal difference. Oh, dear. Just a good turn, Giroud. Not what we wanted. Being a tight game, and that's a tight one to take. As for Fana with the pass around the corner. Chilwell into Ungolo Kante. Now on to Anyaki. He tries to turn away a little bit. Back heel into Ungolo. Connor Gallagher on it. Through into Anyaki, and the whistle goes. 1 1. Not the worst result, but we really wanted the win. Third in the Premier League table as well, right now. But look at the gap. How have Spurs and Liverpool run away that? quickly I mean Spurs as well I was gonna say no offense to Spurs but offense to Spurs they shouldn't be up there as of course we have Manchester United up next uh, this is not a simulation this is not a drill this is a big one at home Reese James seems fit enough Raheem Sterling as well shit belongs to you you're a big player for us Kukurea there's a lot to think about with you sorry mate unfortunately still think a lot of chill well as you can see rotations Reese. James is thrown straight back into the mix. We really want this guy to do well like he does in real life, so why not try him? Aspilicueta is going to start as centre-back over for Fana. A risky move, I know, but we're going to do it. Madison stays in. The whole midfield stay the same with Sterling still on the bench. Or actually, no, that does make me think Loftus-Cheek does deserve to be in and Reese James is fully shattered, so... We'll keep Loftus cheek in, why not? Why not? He's playing well. So that's the team that we have at home against United. Six against seventh. Game in hand. Let's do it. And let's see this Man United team that they're dragging towards. David De Gea in goal. Ricardo Pereira, Baye Varane and Tellez. 
with Fred Royce and Fernandez. Good signing. Rashford, Ronaldo, and Jaden Sancho. That is what the lineup looks like for Ten Hag. No Malassia, um, no McTominay, no Casemiro. Has Loftus Cheek to switch this ball straight across the field, straight into the chest of Ben Chilwell. Let's get up and running. And Yaki Williams round the corner into Kovacic as Bamyang's in front. Going to get it round the corner into Loftus Cheek. Tried to drill it, unfortunate. Marco Royce out wide into Jaden Sancho right here, who skips away from us. Sancho goes backwards, however, into Tellers, and that's a brilliant tackle, Koulibaly. Brilliant work from the beast at the backers. Let's get counter-attacking, shall we? Aubameyang through to Anyaki Williams. Anyaki Williams waiting for some support. He's going to give it into Kovacic. I mean, it's Jaden Sancho doing the defending, who's actually let Kovacic get a better of him. And Anyaki Williams into the bottom bin for 1-0 against Manchester United. And it is a brilliant finish from the Spaniard against the Spaniard. Jaden Sancho's been absolutely done defensively by Kovacic. Shrugged off the ball. And that is a beautiful cross, beautiful cutback, beautiful precise strike into the bottom corner. We lead at the bridge against the Red Devils. What a start to the game as Jaden Sancho in towards Ronaldo. 20 minutes on the clock and we have been dominant. Koulibaly, by far the best player. He's got another tackle in there. And Aubameyang's ready for another counter. He's got Varane just waiting for him. Of course, he's used to Anyaki Williams in La Liga from the battles before, but... Not doing too good this time. Loftus-Cheek dipping it in. Unlucky. Ruben Loftus-Cheek wins a header. Fred with the pass into Bruno Fernandes. From Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes with a couple of stepovers. Round the corner into Jadon Sancho. Tellez. Okay, a corner ball for United. This is... that. Well, that was the best thing they've done all game, but... That's saying something in my eyes. As can we just defend this easily? Yes, we can. Horrendous corners. And Golo Kante's got the better of Alex Tellez. And Angolo is on a run. Tell us to beat the Brazilian in the middle. Kante cutting inwards and outwards, keeping the ball. He's got Aubameyang in a bit of support. Who almost scores. Tell us. Horrific defensively as a corner ball for us now. It's our turn. Has almost got there. Koulibaly falls to Koulibaly to strike it. Almost like he was against Tottenham with a wonder goal as Madison to whip this one in. De Gea staying at home. And it's fallen to him. And Marcus Rashford on the ball in the middle here. On to Fred. As we've got a little bit of a touch on it right there. Ronaldo. That's a good ball. But the referee's blown his whistle. Must have been offside. So I'm very happy. 1-0 against United at the break. Loftus-Cheek with a throw in into Khalid Koulibaly. Thiago Silva passed straight through into N'Golo Kante. He needs to get that to the side. Kovacic. There's a run on there for Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek. Through. And Yaki, that's a good touch onto Pierre and Mikko Bamiyan. Almost two at the start of the second half. And Jaden Sancho now with the ball. He's got a pass into Bruno Fernandes and Kante with the block. And he gets it straight onto James Madison. Madison onto Anyaki. Trying to switch it over. Eric Bailly. Fred through the middle. Royce. Bruno Fernandes. Got it out wide into Jaden Sancho. Sancho. Chilwell with the head away. N'Golo Kante with the ball here into Koulibaly. Can't lie. Very quiet second half. We're trying to make changes. I don't even think they've come on yet. As Kovacic. Can we liven it up? Can we do a bit more? Madison. That's poor. I'm trying to make a triple substitution. Might as well get them all on because it's that late in the game. Don't be injured, Kovacic. He isn't. I'm going to get Reese James, Jorginho. And Raheem Sterling on here as they've dominated the second half on possession but done absolutely nothing with it. Cristiano Ronaldo withdrawn for Edison Cavani going into the last 10 minutes. This second half's just gone as quick as a flash but I'd like it to because then of course that means the win. But Raheem Sterling's here. Ex City and try to just hit it quickly at Day's near post. Unlucky. Corner ball. Float this in towards Aubameyang. Cleared away from Eric Bailly. A really dull second half, though. Really fits the bill for this game against United. We've got the lead through Onyaki's beautifully placed goal. And we'll just keep it that way. Hopefully, Bruno Fernandes tried to think different. Cesar Aspilicueta to run away with it. Keep going, Dave. Now give it on to Raheem the Dream. Of course, experience in the derbies against these, but he's been caught out by Fred. Still goes straight back to him. Fred can't pass it away. Royce putting up a fight. Two added minutes. Don't give them time to get to the side of the field, please. Fred 
Looking for a pass, he's taking too long. Referee needs to blow the whistle and does a huge victory against Manchester United. And Yaki's first half goal enough to separate us at the bridge. Scenes. Scenes for us. That makes up for the um, missed chance against Milan. Aubameyang, is he top scorer? He is. Joint with um, Danny Ings, it seems, as we're trying to claw the gap between us and Liverpool back and Spurs, but it is a difficult one. But what an episode this has been. Camera charge is going really low, so without further ado, thank you guys for watching this very good one. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell as well, so you do not miss anything in the future. My forehead looks very wrinkly. Anyway, I'm going to ignore that. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, guys, in a bit. And peace.